I realize it's been a while since I've done a review of an album. Uh, the last one, I believe, was uh, Medicaid Fraud Dog by Parliament, which at the time I liked, but in the months since, I, I can't really report that it's held my attention very well. I should have done a review in early July for Soulfly's uh, live album that they put out for their 20th anniversary of the band, uh, which was taking one of their earliest performances at one like the Dynamo uh, concerts in the Netherlands. And it's a really solid live album, and if you're a fan of Old Sepultura or Max Cavalera in general, it's a good album to check out. But uh, I'm going to talk about the day, and obviously I'm not going to play any music and have any uh, risk of... Uh, copyright infringement and all that kind of stuff go on. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to the music video that got me into the band in the first place. And if you like that, you can check out the new album or their other older album, as you wish. But I want to talk about Gunship. Uh, some of the older folks who might be seeing my videos might not be aware of it, but there's a newish genre that's been around for a few years of, of retro 80s style synth music. And there's several bands that typify this, like Laser Hawk and Mitch Murder. But the one, uh, and you know, and then they're they're kind of cheesy. I kind of overall classify a lot of it as techno because uh, it's very heavily beat based and electronic based. And Laser Hawk in particular really reminds me of like the music from Spy Hunter. If it was really really awesome, but Gunship is the cream of the crop. They're a really solid group, really lovely vocals. They both male and female singers, uh, really excellent music. Um, their first album is, is self-titled and I, I recommend that one as well, but it's been out for several years, but they have a new album out that came out uh, beginning of this month called uh, dark all day. And it's got about 13 tracks and maybe only one of them. I, I would say a skip, skippable because uh, basically you could tell by the name of the track Parsival and Artemis that uh, and and the content of it, it was basically uh, they wrote it out to be featured in Ready Player One or something. So, eh, young band still trying to get their leg up. Guess you can't blame them for having some sort of product placement song, but it's not the highlight of the album but there's a lot of other really good tracks just starting off from the very first song and i'll you know also if you if you're the kind of person that's into uh music to have as a background enhancement for uh bedroom encounters let's say the first gunship is really excellent for that really excellent for that like nine inch nails quality and I have not yet had a chance to uh, experience the second album in the same fashion, but I, listening to it, it seems better. So I can imagine the same will apply there as well. So check it out. Like I said, there'll be a link in the description for a music video called uh, Fly For Your Life. It's off their first album. It was my introduction to the band. It's a really great video visually and musically. Another kind of quirky thing that I personally like to do with Gunship is I find they uh, mix surprisingly well with Fear Factory. They, they sound very opposite ends of the spectrum, but they both have this sci-fi theme. And actually, there's a lot of echoes between a lot of their songs. I, I've got, I've been keep tweaking on making a playlist that I play a lot, uh, where it alternates back and forth between their songs. And it, it, it kind of creates this high and low kind of thing going on, because Fear Factory is such this robot rebellion kind of music and real military sounding and mechanized and gunship is prettier, but in a real synthetic cyberpunk kind of style, they mesh very well together. So either case, like I said, uh, total, I don't I haven't really decided on a rating system, a quadruple thumbs up for dark all day by gunship. You can find them on Amazon Music, and they probably got it. Some, I know they got some singles out from it already, including a title track that's named after the album Dark All Day. That's not bad. That's got a lot of uh, Lost Boys overtones. So anyway, talk to you all later.